We talked about the difference between exploratory and explanatory analysis, but you'll also find that data analytics techniques are commonly described by four distinct categories, descriptive, diagnostic, predictive, and prescriptive. The simplest way to define these categories is that descriptive analytics is about understanding what happened, diagnostic analytics is about understanding why it happened, predictive analytics is about understanding what will likely happen next, and prescriptive analytics is about determining the optimal course of action. Now, a really important call out here is that you'll often see these categories plotted on a linear value scale, which implies that the goal is to evolve from one category to the next. In reality, that's not how it works. That would be like saying that once you learn calculus, you'll never need to use algebra. The truth is that these categories of analytics are often used in tandem, and each one plays an important and valuable role when applied at the right time and in the right context. So here's an example to make this a bit more tangible. Imagine that you're visiting the doctor for an annual health check. In a purely descriptive world, the doctor might say something like, your cholesterol level is 215, and then walk out of the room. And that would be pretty strange and unsettling, right? Because that number is pretty much meaningless without additional context. Are you supposed to be happy or concerned? Has it gotten better or worse? Is there something you should do as a result of this news? Clearly, you're left with more questions than answers. Now here's a diagnostic statement. Your cholesterol level is 215. This is on the high end and likely due to lack of exercise and too much saturated fat in your diet. All right, so now we're moving from data to meaningful information. We have some context, and now we have some sense of what's going on and why. So let's keep going and take a look at a predictive statement. If you maintain your current diet and lifestyle, your cholesterol level will continue to rise and increase your risk of cardiovascular disease. Now we not only understand how we got here and why, but we also have a pretty clear picture of what will likely happen in the future unless we course correct. And finally, here's a prescriptive statement, which is really what you would hope to hear from your doctor. Based on your test results, I've prescribed statins and recommended a new diet to lower your cholesterol and reduce the risk of heart disease. Now, in this particular context, all of this information is helpful, because unless you're a doctor too, you're completely reliant on having a trained medical professional identify and diagnose the issue, share a prognosis, and prescribe the best treatment for you. So hopefully that helps demystify what these categories are all about. Next up, we'll dig a little deeper into each of them in turn.